it's not honey mustard. Yeah, yeah, I don't like honey mustard. It's sweet, but it's not mustardy. Or is it mustardy? <laughs> so I really like that. It is kind of mustardy. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Strip Club. Today joining me is Sheena Shea from Vanderpump Hi. Rolls. I'm so excited to have you. Me too, and I'm hungry, so this is great. I, I'm not hungry, so you can eat for me. Okay. Perfect. Today we are doing IHOP versus Denny, so we've decided to do kind of like the 24-hour breakfast spots. Mm -hmm. What do you look for in the perfect chicken strip? Um, I like. It has to be all white meat. Remember when like we were kids and the McDonald's chicken McNuggets, like how they had like I'm the gray. Still, yeah, I still don't know what mm -mm. what is inside. No, so it has to be. All white meat. Yes. And you know, thick. I don't want a little thin, so like. You probably strip. don't like IHOPs because they're super, they're, they're way thinner than they're, I thought. They're really skinny. I yeah. like mine to be a little thicker, you know? Mm -hmm. Basically, these are like, when you look at a picture of something and it looks really bomb, and I was like, wow, IHOPs actually look pretty decent. And then they came and I was like, wow, these don't look that appealing yeah. at all. They're a little skinny. They're <laughs> All right, let's All right. dig in. Okay. Okay, let's do IHOP first. That was an interesting tear. <laughs> I like start from the very beginning, <laughs> like from the first rip, I'm like, okay, what did that feel like? And it didn't feel like a soft, juicy tear. It felt like a very dry tear. See, I feel like this one is one of the softer, juicier ones. Oh. This tastes better than it looks, okay. I'll say that. See. There's like an aftertaste. There's an interesting aftertaste to it. Like when you first eat it, it's like, okay, I can taste the chicken. I have the texture. It's crispy on the outside. Chicken soft on the inside. But you don't really taste the seasoning until after. That's true. That's a good point. It's weird. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do we think of this chicken strip thus far? It's it's okay. It's all right. I think mine's better than yours. Mm. I mean, I've definitely had better, but mm -hmm. I think I picked the best one out of the five. Like, this is a standard chicken strip. It is. It's basic. It's pretty, I think it's, it's kind of bland. Of, mm, yeah. It's a little bland. Yeah, there's nothing that special about it, but it's not bad. Like, if we were wasted right now, oh my God. it would be so good. <laughs> That's really how you only eat IHOP and Denny's, mm -hmm. is after you've been drinking all night. And that was me last night, so this is probably better to me than Is this the first you? thing that you're eating since you drank? I had half a cheeseburger this morning, but I didn't want to eat the whole thing because it was a double cheeseburger. Yeah. And I wanted to have some room for chicken okay. strips. That was a big sacrifice. Yeah. To I know. <laughs> On a scale of one to five clucks, I would give the IHOP chicken strip a 2.4. I agree with you and then not <laughs> wanting to give it over a three because when you really think about it, it's not above average, it's mm. average. A yeah. three is average. I think mine was a little better than yours, okay. so I'm gonna give it a 2.8. Okay, okay. That's, I mean, that's still kind of average. It is average. Yeah, but I, mine average. was like right, like mine was an F. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually really excited to get into Denny's. Me too. I'm gonna just put it out into the world that the Denny's is better. It already looks better. This is a very textured. Oh, um, they smell so much better though. IHOP smells like oh. nothing or like cardboard. Okay. And Denny's smells like seasoning. Oh wait, I'm really excited. <laughs> Denny's mm. is so much better to mm -hmm. me. Denny's tastes like the chicken has flavor mm -hmm. and the batter is so much more flavorful. Mm. But the only thing I'll say about these is on the end, it's just all the mm -hmm. breading, you know, there's not really any chicken. So. I just had a bite that was basically 95% breading and 5% uh -huh. chicken. And I felt like in that one bite, it was a thousand calories. Yeah. So. <laughs> basically. See, there's no chicken in this. It is, this tastes really heavy. So it is better. The flavor's better, but it tastes like I need to run three miles right now. I agree. More flavor, <laughs> but yeah, I don't feel healthy eating them. No. These I didn't feel as bad about because it is a thinner so breading. So I guess that's the good part of this one. On a scale of one to five clucks, what do we give the Denny's chicken strip? This one just has so much breading, so for that, they're like gonna get like a point and a half off. Okay, oh my um, god. Because I would want more chicken and less breading, so I don't feel as bad about yeah. already eating bad. Mm -hmm. But I will say it does have more flavor. I think it was cooked a little better. So I'm gonna give Denny's a 2.5 overall because they're definitely below average. Yeah. I'm gonna give the Denny's 2.8 because I agree. I also don't like a lot of batter and mm -hmm. I hate when there are bites that are just batter. I want to have yeah. a good amount of chicken. Like chicken to batter ratio needs to be like 
at least 60 chicken, 40 batter, but like yes. preferably like a 75 chicken, 25% batter. I wish I had brought you better chicken strips. No, it, there's so <laughs> for having drank all night, hopping on Oscar parties with this for my meal, it is perfect. It's okay. <laughs> Let's talk about your podcast. Yes. So it's Shenanigans. Shenanigans. With Sheena Shea. Yes. What do you talk about? I just, I like to keep my podcast just super lighthearted, funny. It's the one outlet I have where you get to know the real me mm -hmm. and not the edited, produced version. So I actually, be. yeah, because I was going to ask you that because it's not up to you what goes on Vanderpump. The no. producers are going to edit you however, I mean, like all reality shows are like that. Mm -hmm. um, so then do you then go on your podcast and you're like, all right, I get to control the narrative now. Like, let me just like... Uh -huh. Here's what really went down. Absolutely. F this hoe. Cluck this hoe. <laughs> That's not what went down. And yes. you just like use that as like your outlet to be like, here's the truth. Yes. Okay. What's like the biggest thing in the season so far that you think like wasn't portrayed the way <laughs> that it was supposed to be portrayed? Like, <laughs> what, like what did they do to you that made it seem like you did something but it really wasn't like that? This current season, it very much so is looking like I'm just like a throwing myself at the new guy, Brett, <laughs> when in reality, we became such good friends so quickly. And after ruining a friendship with Adam by sleeping with him the year before, <laughs> Brett and I were like, we are not hooking up. Like we had a kiss like the first night we met and then it was like, no, 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 we're better yeah. as friends. It was awkward, it was weird. Yeah. He said it was bad, I think it was awkward, whatever. <laughs> it wasn't, I, I'm not a bad kisser, maybe he is. I and it's like, entertaining, it's funny, yeah. you see the boy crazy, desperate girl, whatever. That would just frustrate me so much because yeah. I like value the truth truth and I'd be like that's not the truth I'm not crazy thank you so much for being here yes, guys thanks. if you like this video like subscribe comment below if you've had IHOP or Denny's chicken strips and which one is your favorite where can they find you at Sheena S-C-H-E-A-N-A -A, on everything across the board thank you so much for being here bye <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> why is it limp it's like a limp, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Inappropriate. <laughs> a limp clock. We're at the strip club. Anything goes.